Hey, welcome to Color Yoga. My name is Kyle and thank you for stopping by. Today we've got a fun practice lined up. It's a full body vinyasa flow and we're going to be focusing on working some flexibility in the hips and the hamstrings. So this is great for beginners or even intermediates. And if you like to kind of work into some foundations of your stretching or even on the far end work into a split, then this is a great practice for you. We're going to begin today in a seated position. So you can make your way there slowly, resting your hands onto your knees. Sit up nice and tall, roll your shoulders back and down. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, gently close your eyes. So the idea with this series is that I try and make the instructions as clear and as simple as possible. So over time, you'll get to know my style, get to know the names, and soon you'll be practicing with your eyes closed. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And with some sound, open mouth, sigh, and release. Once again, a nice deep breath in through the nose, fill the belly up. And as you exhale, sigh, some sound, and release. Inhale, raise your arms up to the sky, reach through the fingers. Exhale, bring your hands through to prayer at your heart center. And take a moment to set an intention for your class, and this can be for you or for someone else. This can be something you'd like to manifest in your life. There is no wrong or right answer here. It's always just nice to ground your practice in something. And when you're ready, you can bow your head towards your hands to seal that off. And we will slowly make our way into child's pose at the back of our mats. Have your knees come out wide with the toes touching at the back. Stretch your arms out in front of you. And when you're ready, you can either rest your forehead, your chin, or your sternum down on the ground. Take a deep breath in to the back of your lungs. And as you exhale, release and surrender to the ground. So allow your body to root down, feeling the connection underneath you. It's embodying your sense of attention. So feeling into the sensations of being in this posture. If you'd like to, you can rock your forehead from left to right. And this is a home-based position. So if you ever feel like coming back to your breath or taking a minute to rest, then I will recommend coming back here. It's always good to try and see your practice all the way through just to give your body a chance to fully unwind. So use this posture at your own discretion. Take a nice deep breath in, fill your lungs. And as you exhale, walk your hands off to the left hand side of your mat. Stack your right hand on top of the left, ground it down. And with a long exhale, pull length along the right side of your body. See if you can wrap your right armpit down to the floor. Keep breathing into the lungs, feeling into the earth. Inhale, walk your hands through center. And as you exhale, walk them off to the right-hand side of your mat, stacking your left on top of your right. Spread the fingers, ground the palms. With your next exhale, pull length along the left side of your body. You can melt your hips back and down. Draw the left armpit down to the floor to square yourself to the ground. And release. Inhale, walk your hands through center. And as you exhale, come up to tabletop, stacking your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. You can close your eyes and begin to work into any organic movement that feels good. It's, this is a free movement warm-up. I like to do a few cat-cows and some barrel rolls, shifting the weight forwards and backwards. You can work some space into your neck, perhaps tucking your toes and sitting back onto the base of your feet. Any movements are welcome here. It's just nice to... Start your practice off with a bit of embodied movement. And see if you can synchronize your breath with your movements, making them long and drawn out. And you can almost embody a animalistic styled approach to this warm up. And you can release and when you're ready, make your way into a neutral tabletop. And inhale for cow. Lower your belly, gaze forward. Exhale, cat. Tuck the chin round and curl into the spine. Close your eyes. Inhale, cow. Belly lows, chin up. 
Exhale, cat around and curl. Inhale for cow, lower the belly, look forward. Exhale, cat, curl and press. Tuck your back toes and walk your hands a little bit forward. Spread the fingers wide. Make sure your hands are a little bit wider than shoulder width distance apart. Inhale for cow, lower the belly, look forward and drop your hips back at the same time, sitting onto the toes, stretching the base of the feet. Exhale, cat pose, shift forward, curl into the back and come over the wrists. Nice, two more times. Inhale, cow, lower the belly, hips come back, open the chest. Exhale, cat, round and curl and shift forward. Inhale, cow, lower the belly, look forward to prepare. Exhale, cat, shift forward, round and curl and you can make your way slowly into a plank pose, raising the hips up. Lift the head up, tuck the chin, and just a reminder that throughout this practice, you're always welcome to modify your plank however you like. You can lower the knees, you can always skip out the vinyasas. This is your practice, so treat your body with some compassion. Engage your core, tuck your elbows in, take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, slowly lower down to the belly with control, having your elbows scraping your sides. Take your time. And when you get there, untuck your toes, place your hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale for cobra, lift the back of the neck up, draw the shoulders back, squeeze the thighs, press the feet into the floor and hold. It's a nice opportunity to warm up the back, strengthen some of your posture muscles. Take one more breath in, exhale slowly, ripple down. One more time. Inhale, cobra, rise up to hold. And exhale, down. You can release, place your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes, nice deep breath in. As you exhale, down dog, send the hips up and melt the heels down. Now, take a moment just to arrive into your down dog. It's the first one of the day. So you're more than welcome to pedal your legs out from left to right. I like to wag my hips over, bend one leg, then the other one. Relax the back of the neck, perhaps wagging it around just to create a bit of looseness and decompression in the spine. Make sure your fingers are spread wide, press evenly into the ground, and make sure your hands are a little bit wider than shoulder width distance apart. When you're ready, you can arrive into stillness in your down dog. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale to release. Inhale, three-legged dog, raise the right leg up to the sky, point through the toes, even the way between your hands. Exhale, low lunge, right foot comes in between your hands, untuck your back toes and lower your back knee to the floor. Inhale, crescent moon, reach your arms up to the sky, hold and breathe. Lower the hips forward and down, raise the arms up. We're going to move through some mobility movements here, so inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, half splits, drop the hips back, straighten your front leg and flex your right toes, bow down. Inhale, crescent moon, swoop the arms forward and up to reach, lower the hips forward. Exhale, half splits, fold and release, draw back on the right hip. Inhale, crescent moon, swoop the arms forward and up to point, hips come forward. Exhale, half splits, bow down. Inhale, crescent moon, reach the arms up. Exhale, bring your hands through to prayer at your heart center. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, revolved crescent lunge to the right side. Left elbow hooks outside the right knee. Hold and breathe. Now, you can use your elbow to knee connection to rotate and rinse your spine. So leverage off the knee. Look up and over the right shoulder. Stay for the inhale. Stay for the exhale. Release. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, low lunge, plant the hands and raise the back knee. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg comes up and back. Exhale, runner's lunge, place your right foot on the outside of the right hand. Lower the back knee to the floor, untuck the back toe. So your right foot is on the outside of the right hand. And if this feels good, you can stay here. If you'd like a little bit more, we can work into a quad stretch, sending the left arm back, bending the left heel towards your bum, and we're gonna open up through the chest while melting our hips forward and down. Now, if you'd like to, you can add a bit of mobility. With an inhale, move the hips back. Exhale, shift the hips forward. Inhale, back. 
Exhale forward last time. Inhale back. Exhale forward and release. Lower the leg down, place the hands down, raise the back knee. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, Malasana. Step the left foot forward to meet the right. Hands down, squat down into the heels or stay up on the balls of the feet, whatever feels good. So if you are on the balls of your feet, you can sway from left to right. Or if you'd like to, you can drop down into the heels and bring your hands through to prayer, having your elbows on the insides of your legs. And if you'd like to, you can leverage your legs open by drawing your prayer hands in towards your chest. Sit up nice and tall, tuck the chin, and from here you can sway from left to right. Inhale into the belly. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold into a gorilla pose. Straighten the legs, press down through the heels. I'm going to start off with a generous bend to the legs. Grab opposite elbows and sway from left to right. Your feet are hip width distance apart. Allow your spine to relax and decompress. And interlace the hands, place them behind the back of your head. Tuck the chin. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, fold and deepen. And release, interlace the hands behind your back. Squeeze your elbows together. Inhale, open up the chest. Roll the shoulders back. Exhale, fold down. Send your hands up and over your head. Release the hands. Heel toe your feet to touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Straighten the spine. Parallel yourself to the floor. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, high mountain, bend the knees, swoop the arms up towards the sky, gaze up. Exhale, gentle back bend, cactus the arms, tuck the tailbone, squeeze the thighs, look up and arch back. Inhale, high mountain, arms reach, interlace the hands above your head. Exhale, half moon variation to the left hand side, arch over, making a crescent moon shape. Draw your Right armpit forward, left armpit, sorry, your right armpit back, left armpit forward. So you're squaring yourself off to the front. Ground down through the heels and point through the fingertips. Inhale, move through center, reach up to the toes and exhale over to the right hand side. Half moon variation. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, Samasiti, bring your hands through to prayer. Nice. Make a connection with the breath. And we're going to see if we can synchronize our breath with our movements. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, bow down and release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift to prepare. Exhale, Chaturanga, step back and lower halfway. Inhale, up dog or cobra, roll the shoulders back, squeeze the thighs. Exhale, down dog, send the hips up and melt the heels down. Inhale, three-legged dog, raise the right leg high and up into the sky. Exhale, low lunge, step the right foot in between your hands. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, pyramid pose, straighten the front leg and bow towards the front foot. Two more times. Inhale, low lunge, bend into the knee, open up the chest. Exhale, pyramid pose, straighten the front leg, draw back on the right hip. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, pyramid pose. Inhale, low lunge, bend into the right knee, look forward. Exhale, standing splits, left heel comes up to the sky. Bend the standing leg. You can come light on the fingertips if that feels good. Options to stay. We're going to move into a three-part mobility stretch. So inhale, Shiva squat. Tuck your left knee behind your right. Crouch into a little ball. Ground the palms. Exhale, standing splits. Drive the left heel up to the sky and press down through the right heel. Two more times. Inhale, Shiva squat. Left knee tucks behind the right. Tuck the chin. Exhale, standing splits. Left heel comes up into the sky. Last time. Inhale, Shiva squat. Exhale, standing splits and fold. Feet to meet, shake that off. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift to prepare. Exhale, Chaturanga. Step back to plank and lower halfway. And if you need to, you can always lower your knees. Inhale, up dog over the toes. Roll the shoulders back, squeeze your thighs. Exhale, down dog, send the hips up and lower your heels down. 
Inhale, three-legged dog, raise the left leg, even the weight between your hands. Exhale, low lunge, left foot comes in between your hands, lower the back knee, untuck your back toe. Inhale, crescent moon, reach the arms up to the sky to hold, melt the hips forward and down, lift through the chest up to the sky. Inhale to reach the fingers up. Exhale, half splits, straighten the front leg and bow towards the left toes, flex and drop the hips back. Inhale, crescent moon, swoop the arms forward and up. Exhale, half splits, hips back, draw back on the left hip crease. Last time. Inhale, crescent moon, reach the arms forward and up, multi hips down. Exhale, half splits, hips come back and fold, flex the left toes. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands through to prayer at your heart center. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, revolve crescent lunge to the left-hand side. Right elbow outside the left knee. Make connection and use your hands at prayer to rinse the spine evenly. See if you can keep a straight line from elbow to elbow. And then look up and over the left shoulder. If you'd like a little bit more, you can melt the hips forward and down. Release. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, low lunge, hands come down, raise the back knee. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg comes up and back. Press evenly between your hands. Exhale, runner's lunge, left foot steps lightly onto the outside of your left hand. Now, you can lower the back knee, untuck the back toe. Options to stay here, you can always come down onto the elbows. Otherwise, we're going to work into the right quad by bending the right heel towards your bum. Send your left arm back, take hold of the foot. And then you can open up through the chest, melting the hips forward and down. Options to stay or work into some mobility. You're going to inhale, shift the hips back. Exhale, forward. Move with the breath. Inhale, back. Exhale, forward. And release. Gently lower the back leg. Plant both hands. Raise the back knee. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, malasana. Step forward, feet to meet. Either high on the balls of the feet or lower down into the heels. Options to stay or you can do some movements by swaying your arms from left to right or keeping your hands at prayer and swaying into one heel then into the next. You can reach your arms out in front of you. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, ground the heels, straighten the legs and Fold, interlace the hands behind your back one last time. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, fold and send your hands up and over the head. You can take a moment to pedal your legs out from left to right. tick tocking your hands over as you shift the weight from one foot to the next. Release the hands down, heel toe your feet to touch. Inhale, high mountain, bend the knees, reach the arms up to the sky, look up. Exhale, back bend, cactus the arms left to right, look up and arch back, tuck your tailbone. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky, interlace the hands above your head. Exhale, half moon to the left hand side, arch over. Inhale, move through center, keep your hands interlaced, point up. Exhale, half moon to the other side, draw back on your right armpit, left armpit forward. Inhale, arms move through center. Exhale, Samasitihi, bring your hands through to prayer. Take a moment to reconnect with your breath. We're going to synchronize our breaths and our movements nice and long and smooth. Blink the eyes open. Inhale, high mountain, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, bow down and release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, straighten the spine and prepare. Exhale, chataranga, step back to plank and lower halfway. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, up dog, straighten the arms, roll the shoulders back, squeeze your thighs. Exhale, down dog, roll over the toes and lower your heels down. Well done. Inhale, three-legged dog, raise the left leg. Exhale, low lunge, left foot steps in between your hands. Keep your back knee up. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, pyramid pose. Straighten your front leg and bow towards your left foot. Inhale, low lunge. Bend into the left knee. Lower the hips. Open up the chest. 
Exhale, pyramid pose. Straighten the left leg and draw back on the left hip. Inhale, low lunge for the last time. Gaze forward. Exhale, pyramid pose. Inhale, low lunge, bend it to the left knee, look forward and prepare. Exhale, standing splits, right heel comes up to the sky, ground down through the left heel, light on the fingertips, bow down. Options to stay, I was going to work into some Shiva squat standing splits. Inhale, Shiva squat, right knee tucks behind the left, crouch into a little ball. Exhale, standing splits, drive the right heel up, ground down through the left heel. Two more times. Inhale, Shiva squat. Exhale, standing splits. Last time. Inhale, Shiva squat. Exhale, standing splits. And release, forward fold. Feet to meet. Shake that off. Inhale, halfway lift to prepare. Exhale, Chaturanga. Step back and lower halfway. Inhale, up dog. Roll over the toes. Squeeze the thighs. Exhale, down dog, send the hips up and melt the heels down. Well done. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step, jump or float, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, high mountain, arms reach up. Exhale, samasiti, hands come to prayer. Inhale, high mountain, arms rise. Exhale, fold forward and release. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten the spine. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana, sit down into the heels, arms come alongside your ears, hold and breathe. See if you can regulate the breath in this moment of adversity, so sit down, squeeze the thighs. Arms are straight alongside your ears. Wrap your pinkies in and melt your shoulders down. Soften into the face. Soften into your jaw. Into your breath. Inhale. Exhale, fold and release. Well done. Inhale, half lift to prepare. Exhale, Chaturanga. Step back and lower halfway. Elbows tucked in. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Hips up. Heels down. Inhale, three-legged dog, raise the right leg. Exhale, low lunge, step the right foot in between your hands. Keep your back knee up. Inhale, high crescent lunge, stand up on the feet, arms come alongside the ears, hold and breathe. Bend into the right knee, you are high on the ball of the back foot. Draw back on the right hip, forward on the left so you square yourself off. Tuck your tailbone and find steadiness in your feet. If you're finding that you are a little bit wobbly in this posture, create a bit of space laterally or sideways in between your feet, so about a hip width distance apart. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, airplane, arms back, chest forward, hold. Now just the arms move. Inhale, reach the arms forward. Exhale, swim them back two more times. Inhale, arms forward, sweep them out and forward. Exhale, swoop them back out wide. Last time with the breath. Inhale, arms reach forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Arms come up above your head to reach up to the sky. Exhale, chaturanga. Hands down to plank. Lower halfway, elbows tucked in. Inhale, up dog. Over the toes. Squeeze the thighs. Exhale, down dog. Send the hips up. Melt the heels down. Well done. Inhale, three-legged dog. Raise the left leg. Exhale, low lunge. Left foot steps in between your hands. Keep your back knee up, ground down. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Rise up onto the feet. Arms alongside your ears. Hold and breathe. You high in the ball of the back foot. Ground down through the front heel. Square the hips off and tuck your tailbone. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, Airplane arms, chest forward, arms back. Hold and breathe. You're looking for a straight line from the heel all the way along the back of your leg, along the back of your spine. Just the arms move. Inhale, rocket ship. Reach the arms forward. Exhale, back. Two more times. Inhale, arms forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. 
Exhale back. Nice. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Reach the arms up. Exhale, chaturanga. Hands down. Lower in your plank to halfway. Exhale all the way down. Inhale, up dog. Straighten the arms. Roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog. Send the hips up and melt the heels down. Inhale, bend the knees. Look forward. Exhale, step, jump or float. Top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Sit down into the heels. Arms alongside your ears. Hold and breathe. Find steadiness in your posture. Squeeze your thighs. Tuck your tailbone and soften into your breath. Inhale, sink a little bit lower. Challenge yourself here. Exhale, fold and release. Well done. Inhale, halfway lift to prepare. Exhale, chaturanga, step back and lower halfway. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes, squeeze the thighs. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels down. Inhale, three-legged dog, raise the right leg. Exhale, low lunge, right foot comes in between your hands. Keep the back knee up. Inhale, high crescent lunge, rise up onto the feet, arms alongside your ears. You're high in the ball of the back foot, hold and breathe. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, aeroplane lunge, chest forward, arms back, hold. Find steadiness. Just the arms move. Inhale, reach the arms forward, out wide. Exhale, swim them back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Last time. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, high crescent lunge, arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands through to prayer at your heart center. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, revolve crescent lunge to the right-hand side. Left elbow comes on the outside of the right knee. If you need to, you can lower the back leg to the floor. Use your elbow to prayer connection to leverage and rinse the spine out. If your back knee is down, you can raise it up. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Back up on the feet, arms alongside your ears. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Ground the back heel, level the arms out. Your back foot is facing slightly in. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, extended side angle. Right knee to right elbow, left arm comes alongside your ear. Inhale, reverse warrior. Turn the palm and reach back. Exhale, extended side angle. Elbow to knee, arm alongside the ear. Inhale, reverse warrior to reach back and prepare. Exhale, Chaturanga, windmill the hands down to the floor, lower halfway, elbows tucked in. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes, squeeze the thighs, look up. Exhale, down dog, send the hips up and melt the heels down. Inhale, three-legged dog, raise the left leg. Exhale, low lunge, left foot steps lightly in between your hands, keep your back knee up. Inhale, high crescent lunge, up onto the feet, arms alongside your ears, Find steadiness and hold. Inhale, reach through the arms. Exhale, aeroplane lunge, chest forward, arms back. Just the arms move. Inhale, rocket ship, arms reach forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward, out wide. Exhale, back. Last time. Inhale, forward, engage the core. Exhale, back. Inhale, reach the arms up, high crescent lunge. Exhale, bring your hands through to prayer at your heart center. Inhale, shift forward with the chest. Exhale, revolve crescent lunge to the left-hand side, right elbow outside the left knee. If you need to, you can lower the back leg to the floor. Use your hands to leverage off the knee to rinse the spine even deeper. Keep breathing, soften into the face, look up and over the left shoulder. If your back knee is down, you can raise it up. Inhale, high crescent lunge, arms reach up alongside your ears. Exhale, warrior two, slice open, ground the back heel, bend into the left leg, arms level out. Inhale, exhale, extended side angle, left elbow to knee, right arm alongside your ear, little to no weight in the front leg. Inhale, reverse warrior, turn the palm and reach back. Exhale, extended side angle, shift forward. Inhale, reverse warrior with control. Turn the palm and reach back. Feel the stretch on the side. 
Exhale, Chaturanga, windmill your hands down to the ground, lower halfway with your exhale all the way down. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes, squeeze your thighs, look up. Exhale, down dog, send the hips up and melt the heels down. Well done. Take a nice deep breath in. And a long open mouth exhale to release. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step jump or float top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, parallel your spine to the floor. Exhale, fold. Inhale, high mountain, bend the knees, arms reach up to the sky, look up. Exhale, back bend, cactus the arms, look up and arch back. Inhale, high mountain, arms rise. Exhale, forward fold, bow down and release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Sit down into the heels, arms alongside your ears. Hold and breathe. Now challenge yourself here. Sit down, squeeze. Straighten the arms, soften the face. Bring your hands through to prayer. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, prayer twist to the right hand side. Left elbow comes outside the right knee. Make the connection, use the elbow to knee connection and rinse the spine out. Look up and over the right shoulder. Square your knees off to the front so your hips are nice and square. Now, look down to the ground. Shift the weight into the right foot and see if you can tease the weight off the left. And with control, see if you can step your left foot to the back of your mat, a revolved crescent lunge. Nice. Find your balance. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Stand up on the feet. Arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, warrior two. Open up. Inhale, star. Reach through the arms. Turn your toes in. Exhale, prasarita. Wide legged forward fold. Bow down. Turn your toes in. Inhale, halfway lift. Straighten the spine. Exhale, fold and release. You've got a few breaths here. If you'd like to, you can reach your arms out in front of you, take hold of your toes, or you can interlace your hands behind your back. Close your eyes and breathe. If your hands are up, you can lower them down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, star. Reach the arms up, turn the toes out. Look up. Exhale, horse squat down into the heels, elbows in, open up the chest. Inhale, star, arms reach up. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Bend into the right leg, arms level out. Inhale, reverse warrior, turn the palm and reach back. Exhale, extended side angle, elbow to knee, arm alongside the ear. Inhale, reverse triangle. Reach the arm back, straighten the front leg. Exhale, full triangle trikonasana with your front leg straight. Reach the arms forward and lower the arms down to 6 and 12. Activate the front kneecap. See if you can rotate the left hip on top of the right. And then lower your right side body forward and down. Keep breathing. And release, bend the front knee, inhale, reverse warrior, reach back, look to the front foot. And as you exhale, prepare to launch off, half moon, balance on the right leg, left leg comes up to the sky, right arm down, left arm up. Now, if you find yourself wobbling all over the show, that's totally fine. Activate your back leg, activate your arms, keep yourself nice and steady, engage your core, find a focal point for your eyes, hold and breathe. If you make your way, if you fall out, you can make your way back in. Now with control, nice deep breath in, and nice deep breath out, well done. Shiva squat, bow down, left leg tucks behind the right, lightly on the fingertips on the floor, tuck the chin, now take a deep breath in, exhale, standing splits, left heel comes up to the sky, bow down, two more times. Inhale, Shiva squat, crouch into a little ball, left leg tucks behind the right, exhale, standing splits, left leg up. Inhale, Shiva squat. Exhale, standing splits and fold. Well done. Shake that off, feet to meet. Inhale, chair, sit down into the heels. Arms come up and breathe. Last time, challenge yourself here. Sit down a little bit lower, squeeze the thighs, lift the head up and tuck the chin. Bring your hands through to prayer. Inhale, shift forward. 
Exhale, prayer twist to the left hand side. Right elbow comes outside the left knee. Hold and breathe. Use your elbow to knee connection to rinse the spine out. Square your knees off, square the hips off. Weight into the heels. Keep breathing. Now look at your left foot. Shift the weight into your left foot and tease the weight off the right. With control, step the right foot to the back of the mat. Well done. Keep yourself in a revolved prayer twist. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Release, arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Inhale, star. Straighten both legs. Turn the toes in. Look up. Exhale, prasarita, wide-legged forward fold. Bow down. Inhale, halfway lift to reset. Exhale, fold and release. A few breaths here. You can work into the same posture if you like. Otherwise, you can even sway your upper body from left to right, working into the side body. See if you can close your eyes and focus on your breath. If your hands are up, you can lower them down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, star. Reach the arms up, turn the toes out. Look up. Exhale, horse squat down. Draw the elbows in. Open up the chest. Inhale, star arms rise. Exhale, warrior two. Bend into the left knee. Level the arms out. Inhale, reverse warrior. Turn the palm and reach back. Exhale, extended side angle. Left elbow to left knee. Arm comes alongside the ear. Inhale, reverse triangle. Left arm reaches back. Straighten the front leg. Exhale, full triangle trikonasana. Keep your front leg straight. Reach forward and lower the arms down. Six and 12. Activate your front kneecap. Press down through the front heel. Lower the left side body forward and down as you rotate the right hip up and out. Hold and breathe. And release. Bend the front knee. Inhale, reverse warrior. Turn the palm. Reach back and prepare. Look to the front. Exhale, half moon, launch off onto the left foot, balance. Right leg comes up, left arm down, right arm up. Again, if you find your way out, make your way back in. Find a focal point for your eyes, activate all your limbs, engage the core, reach through the fingers and the toes, take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Well done. Release Shiva squat, right knee tucks behind the left, bow down to the floor. Stay for the inhale. Exhale, standing splits. Right heel comes up to the sky and fold. Two more times. Inhale, Shiva squat. Right knee comes behind the left. Crouch into a little ball. Exhale, standing splits. Drive the right heel up to the sky. Last time. Inhale. Exhale. And release. Forward fold, feet to meet. Well done. Inhale, halfway lift to prepare for the last time. Exhale, Chaturanga, step back and lower halfway elbows in. Inhale, up dog, straighten the arms, roll the toes, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog, send the hips up and melt the heels down. Inhale, three-legged dog, raise the right leg. Exhale, half pigeon, bring your shin through and down. Make sure your right kneecap is on the outside of the right hip. Untuck your back toes. Inhale, lift the chest up, square yourself off. Exhale, walk your hands to a comfortable and breathable spot. Close your eyes and breathe. And release. Gently walk your hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck your back toes and press back to down dog. You can pedal your legs out from left to right. Just to release the hip. Inhale, three-legged dog. Raise the left leg. Exhale, half pigeon through on the other side. Untuck the back toe. Left kneecap is on the outside of the left hip. Inhale, lift the chest up. Square the hips off. So left hip back, right hip forward. Exhale, release into your half pigeon. Find a comfortable and breathable spot. Close your eyes and focus on your breath.
You can release, walk your hands underneath your shoulders, roll into the left hip, and just extend your legs out in front of you. You can pat your legs down. Now get onto the front of your sitting bones, straighten the legs out, flex the toes. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, shift the weight forward for Pachimottanasana, and release. Find a breathable spot, close your eyes, and embody your sense of attention. Gently release, you inhale to roll up. And as you exhale, gently lower down onto your back. Draw your right knee to your chest, extend your left leg out long for reclined wind remover. Tuck the chin, flex the toes. Now draw the knee in towards the chest and out towards the right shoulder. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, supine twist, lower the leg over to the left hand side. Look up and over the right shoulder, see if you can keep your shoulders on the floor. See if you can use your exhale to breathe length diagonally across your spine. Gently release, draw the right knee in, give it a good squeeze, and exchange it out with the left. Recline to remove remove on the other side. Flex both toes, tuck your chin, draw the in knee into the chest and out towards the left shoulder. Not too wide, but you want to work into your outer hip. Inhale. Exhale, supine twist, lower the leg over to the right-hand side, look up and over the left shoulder. Keep your left shoulder on the floor, look up and over the left side, and gently lower the knee over to the right. Close your eyes and breathe. And gently release. Draw both knees into your chest. Give yourself a giant squeeze of gratitude. As you inhale, raise your forehead up to the knees. Take a moment to connect with your intention. And as you exhale, release and relax into Shavasana. Well done. Allow your toes to fall out. Have your palms up. Take a deep breath in into the belly. Keep your eyes closed. And as you exhale, release and relax into your Shavasana. See if you can lay still in your Shavasana, noticing the breath, noticing any sensations that may come up for you in your practice. And see if you can encourage some deep belly breaths as you keep your sense of attention and body to keep returning it to the sensations of your breath, the sensations of your body. And if your thoughts wander off, then it's totally fine. That's very normal. Just keep bringing it back in and you'll find that the space between your thoughts will become longer over time, and your mind will quieten.
You're welcome to lie here as long as you like. There really is no rush. Thank you once again for putting such beautiful effort into your self-practice and all the support into this channel. And if you'd like to join in on our weekly classes, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the community. And if you have any questions, I will be down below. Otherwise, I will see you here next time on your mat. Namaste.